Welcome to Death Valley at Clemson University. They have touched Howard's Rock and the Clemson Tigers getting ready to take on the field to play Maryland. The Tigers trying to ease the pain of last week's humbling 24-7 loss to Virginia Tech. It is a beautiful day at Clemson. Maryland actually unranked but controlling its own destiny in the Atlantic Division. They have yet to play Wake Forest and Boston College. Clemson at four and two now standing at fourth in the Atlantic Division, but are ranked number 19 in the country. The Tigers first possession of the game. James Davis, number one, the very talented tailback. That's Will Proctor rolling out. He has a man wide open. It's Chancey Stuckey, and on a blown assignment, Stuckey gets a huge first play for the Tigers, one that all the way down to the 20-yard line. A 60-yard gain on their first play. I talked to Dabble Sweeney, the offensive receiver coach, and he talked about Chancey Stuckey. He said, just having him back in the lineup means so much. Well, Proctor gets the pass out of broken coverage. Great field position for Clemson. Stuckey all by himself an all ACC first team of last year. He missed three games this year after breaking his foot. He had surgery and still is back playing as James Davis first carry is good for two yards. He's closing in on a thousand for the season. The Clemson offensive lineup, they have a lot of big guys up front. Their offensive line is averaged only, or averaged 320 pounds and have given up only five sacks all year. That is tops in the country. Dustin Fry in the middle, very uh, articulate. We met with him yesterday. Nice guy in the running the uh, center position. C.J. Spiller and James Davis both now in. And Davis gets him right up the middle. He has taken down Aaron Henderson, making the stop. Henderson, a sophomore from Aberdeen, Maryland, really coming on in the last couple of weeks. In fact, Henderson is one of our impact players on defense, along with Wesley Jefferson. Jefferson is Maryland's leading tackler. And Josh Wilson, perhaps the most talented turf back there, a very good cover corner. 11 in the ACC in rushing defense. So they've given up a lot of yards. And they are taking on the team that is first in the ACC in rushing offense. Right now, third and five. Davis in motion, lining up in the slot. Proctor upstairs again, and that one trickles off the hands of Stuckey. In fact, Will Proctor was interesting talking to Rob Spence, the offensive coordinator yesterday, said that he thought Will Proctor was in a slump, which is something you don't often hear in the sport of football, but that's a fourth down, and Jad Dean's going to kick. Clemson has had problems in the kicking game. If I was Maryland, I'd worry about a fake right here. Dean, as you see, just 9 of 13 trying here, a 32-yard field goal. The crowd is very quiet. A couple of Maryland players, that's Conrad Bolston, number 95, going right up the middle. And that's a big penalty if it's going to be on Maryland. Because it would give them a first down. Part of the snap, offsides, defense on the 95, five-yard penalty. Maryland, the least penalized team in the country, but already they've been flagged for three in this game, and that one uh, is just as big as it gets because instead of trying for the field goal, they're going to get the five yards and the first down. This is big, Pam, because you make that mistake, and all of a sudden, James Davis who has a feel for the end zone. 17 touchdowns this year already. You got to figure they're going to give number one the ball. It's Clemson offense and goal to go situations almost perfect. They've scored 23 of the 24 times and 21 of those have been touchdowns. So they don't like to kick a lot of field goals. Tommy Bowden earlier this year, uh, very frustrated with his field goal kicker and said he did, didn't want to kick again. And this time they get a break with the offside, so it's now first and goal. A couple of tight ends in now for the Tigers. But number one, James Davis in the backfield. Maryland jumps again. And Davis 
gets it. Bolston makes the stop. And there are no flags down, even though a Maryland player jumped. It is now second and goal coming up. Here is the Maryland defense. Carlos Feliciano and Conrad Bolston, both over 300 pounds. But Bolston, right now, is a guy who jumped off sides and gave Merrill or gave Clemson another opportunity to keep this drive alive. Second and goal, just inside the 10. Proctor on the roll, has Stuckey behind him, but he does not pitch, and Proctor goes down for no gain. Wesley Jefferson making the stop. Will Proctor's playing like a quarterback that's in a slump, that he's bothered by his performance last week. This had to be a bust. It, it was a shovel draw trying to get it inside, but the uh, Maryland had it designed very well on defense. Against Virginia Tech, Proctor just 11 for 28, 86 yards. As now four receivers are in on third and goal from just inside the 10. Going for the corner of the end zone, and he overthrows it. Aaron Kelly was well covered down there. Josh Wilson, Christian Varner on the coverage. That's big by Maryland's defense because after the penalty to give them the first down, now force the field goal again is big. But instead of the 32-yard attempt, they're five yards closer. This will be a 27-yarder. Maryland's playing for the fake, too. They have three linebackers set back deep. But the kick goes off cleanly, and Dean is able to punch it through from 27 yards. So that drive kept alive by a Maryland penalty, but the 60-yard pass to Chancey Stuckey helped set everything up, and Clemson's off to a 3-0 lead. Yeah, they have another big game coming up in a couple of weeks, I think. Right. Yeah, down the road in Columbus. Oh, that's a dangerous pass to Darius Hayward Bay. C.J. Gaddis was all over him. Maryland going backwards on this drive. They lose seven. C.J. Gaddis who came to Clemson as a quarterback. Moved over to defense, makes a good play on the screen. Show a double screen. Gaddis right there to make the tackle. And with that tackle, Maryland facing a, guard, a gigantic third and 21. Got to get all the way down to the 28-yard line to keep this drive alive. Pass is high, completed though to Isaiah Williams, but he is about seven yards short of the first down. So fourth and seven here, Mike Godfrey. What do you think Ralph Rachel do? I think you punt the football. Ralph looks like he's studying whether to go for this play and try to get the first down. 34 yard line. Got a great punter that's punted 14 punts inside the. 20 yard line, but he's going to go for it. Not a bad, not a bad decision here. You're on the road, make something happen. There you see Maryland four for nine on the season. Hollenbach on fourth and seven. Has time, and he does complete it for the first down. Ralph Region rolling the dice, and Darius Hayward Bay, who has really come on in the last couple of games. Gets the first down catch. Good throw by Hollenbach. Again, the offensive line protecting the quarterback. Clemson cannot get close to Hollenbach. All block right in there. Picked up Haywood, 12 yards on that play. Haywood Mike. Bay on an underneath route. They cleared it out. He had the first down. Good call. A play action, ball goes out on a pass pattern and a nicely thrown football for a first down. Another catch for Isaiah Williams who picks up 13. Ran an out route. Isaiah Williams really ran a good route, good speed by the uh, senior uh, sophomore receiver, 6'2", 200 pounds. Here's fake, holds the linebackers. Good timing throw, good catch. Williams was a high school sprinter. Ralph Regan said he'd like him to be a little bit more productive, and so far he has been productive with a couple of big catches, good for 28 yards in this game. 
That one's a first down, first and 10 from the 11. And another inside running play that goes absolutely nowhere as Lance Ball is taken down immediately by Rashad Jackson. Ralph Friedgen calling the plays. As a head coach, very difficult sometimes to prepare and get everything done you need to get done every week when you have the media you have the football players coming in with problems you have the booster club people you have the administration to talk to you really have to work at this the call plays as a head coach he says he's been getting up about 4 30 in the morning getting home after 11 o'clock at night so not much of a life and he admitted to us when we talked to him yesterday that he is just plain tuckered out Second and ten, and now Hollabach across the field goes against the green and completes it to Joey Hanos, his tall tight end. He picks up four yards on that play. Joey Hanos blocks, and then he runs to the flat. And the first quarter's over, and a good third down coming up. 60 to 65 yards for Clemson came on one pass play. Proctor to Chancey Stuckey, but they're up 3 nothing. Here, Maryland, third and six from the seven on the 14th play of this drive. Hollenbach, with time, has a man wide open at the corner of the end zone, and he's in for the touchdown. That's Danny Okendo scoring his first touchdown of the season, and Maryland leads. Yeah, give Sam Hollenbach all the credit in his offensive line. They have not Clemson's defense not got close to Sam Hollenbach. Gave him time. He found the receiver open. And that was Okendo, the sophomore from Hackensack, New Jersey. And Hollenbach has been terrific. He's completed 10 of his 12 passes today as Dan Ennis knocks home the extra point. Hollenbach with his 10th touchdown pass of the season. And boy, he did have a lot of time to throw it. So first and 10 from the 26. Davis breaks free. James Davis with one man to beat. And he is able to be tackled by Josh Wilson. Wilson with the touchdown saving tackle, but Davis's first big play of the game. And Tyler Grisham was doing a good job downfield blocking for James Davis. Made a good move, but Maryland kept him in front of him. This pops out the offensive line. Very good. Josh Wilson, number four. Watch how he plays right here. The defensive back gets off the block and makes the play. Proctor so far in this game, five for nine for 89 yards. 60 of those, though, coming on one pass play to Stuckey in the first quarter. Davis, the tailback, gets the handoff. And Maryland strung that one out very well. Dre Moore making the stop. Davis lost about a half yard or so. This is number 19 Clemson taking on the Maryland Terrapins. Maryland's won three straight ball games, and they have won those three straight games by a grand total of 11 points. James Davis, 17 touchdowns this season, has gone over 1,000 yards on the season, but Maryland winning on so far on a Okendo touchdown catch from Sam Hollenbach, who's played very well for the Terps. Now second and 11 for Clemson. Time for Proctor, but he decides to tuck and run, and the fans are furious as he goes down. Proctor, not the most popular guy in Clemson, South no, Carolina these days. Doesn't help that your crowd gets on you either, but uh, Will Proctor, the game against Virginia Tech, didn't do well. Came back here, had one, one of the things when you lose a Thursday night game, you have to sit with that for 10 days. He's talked about the criticism, says he does not look at chat boards or anything on the internet because it's all negative. Davis and Spiller in the backfield along with Proctor on third and 10. Time, completion, but short of the first down, about three yards short to Stucky. <laughs> More discontent from the fans here as Aaron Henderson comes up with his fourth tackle. Tommy Bowden going to send the field goal team in. I'm going to tell you, Maryland is going to play this very safe. They're going to look for the fake. Dean has hit from 27 yards out. This time setting up from 32 yards away. Dean has had an up and down season for the Tigers.
makes it a one point ball game. So Dean good from 27 now good from 32. Ralph Regan's team now leads seven to six. Welcome back into the ACC Digital Network Nerve Center. I'm Jeff Michelle. Clearly, this is a defensive battle. In fact, we're going to skip ahead to the fourth quarter. I'll see you after the game to drop some knowledge on you about the 2006 season for both teams. So let's get back to Death Valley, November 4th, 2006 for ACC Throwback here on the ACC Digital Network. Big piece of rock that came from Death Valley, California. And the players uh, all Give it a little touch before they head to the field. Will Proctor has plenty of room. Takes off. The football comes out late. Is picked up by C.J. Spiller. And they're going to mark it right outside of the goal line. Aaron Henderson knocked it away. And it's a safety. Spiller was able to get on top of it, but the ball was on the goal line. That's the ruling, and Maryland gets a big break and two points. Will Proctor was looking for Chancey Stuckey. Goes back to throw, decides to move up, does not put the ball away. Ball comes out. Aaron Henderson knocks it out. Aaron Henderson, number one. That's a classic strip of the football. And Spiller not able to get on the ball until it's on the goal line. They ought to review this, though, because it's so close to whether it's in the half-yard line. The play has been overturned on the field. The player did recover the ball on the six-inch yard, oh. six yard li six inch line. It'll be a second down to go. That is a huge break for Clemson. It's a huge break. He did make contact. I still don't think he had the ball, control the ball. Proctor will throw out of his own end zone. And he has a man wide open for the first down. Thomas Hunter, his tight end, still going before he was hit out of bounds at the 28 yard. Christian Varner. Go back to that call. Now, Mark and Asterix by that referee changing the review. And then a third down. Will Proctor throws the ball out of the end zone. It gets too deep coverage. Got the tight end down the middle. 
Going for number 18, but he is stopped down after a yard gain by Wesley Jefferson, Terrapin's leading tackler this season. Maryland has two timeouts left as we get under four minutes. Maryland has not done much offensively here in the second half. Coming up only with a field goal in the third quarter. Tenth play of this drive coming up. Davis with the flag comes down. Davis into the end zone for a touchdown. But a flag is on the field. Outside. Illegal formation on the offense. Less than seven on the line of scrimmage. Well, Garrity, our spotter, says that they had 10 men on the field. An illegal formation. He picked it up right away, and the officials caught it. So wipe out the touchdown by James Davis. That's Clemson's first penalty of the game, and what a big one it is as it pushes them back now as you wipe out the touchdown. And now the ball is spotted on the nine. Second and goal from there. The Tigers try and regroup. Proctor takes off and might pick up a yard as Navarre comes up with his seventh tackle of the afternoon. And now third and goal from the eight. Ralph Regan sitting on those two timeouts. I think you will use them after this play. Maryland trying to hold Clemson to a field goal attempt on this drive that started inside the one. Kept alive by a controversial reversal of a safety. Davis breaks a tackle but won't get anywhere near the goal line as he is stopped. Trey Covington and Aaron Henderson come up with the tackle. I think both coaches are going to save their timeouts. Now, Clemson may call theirs right final timeout right now because this play is so important. You want to take as much time as you can. But finally, Ralph Friedgen and Maryland call a timeout. They let quite a few seconds tick off before they called it. We await the field goal attempt. Cole Chase and the punter is the holder. And Dean calmly puts it through his fourth field goal of the game. And Clemson, with 2.25 to go, has regained the lead. Their field goal kicker, Dan Ennis, has hit six in a row overall. Make that seven in a row, including one today from 31. Hollenbach completes it to Okendo. Okendo gets the first down, so that will stop the clock momentarily with a buck 59 to go. Pam, last week against Florida State, eight different receivers caught passes from Sam Hollenbach. I've been impressed with the receiving core and the tight ends. Very young receiving core for Maryland. They lost a ton of good ones last year, including Vernon Davis, who's now with the 49ers. Hollenbach in trouble, goes down. Darrell Scott. Coming up with the stop, that's a sack because he lost three yards. Second sack of the day for the Tigers. Gaines Adams had one earlier. Can't forget about your tight end, Joy Hinos. He's 6'8". Hollenbach doesn't forget about him as he goes right to Hainos. And Joey, in front of Dwayne Coleman, picks up six yards, his fourth catch of the day. Two tight end, or two tight end attack. Both can catch the ball very well. We're talking about two down territory here. Make that five catches for Hainos and 40 yards. Maryland's lone touchdown, Danny Okendo catching a Sam Hollenbach pass in the second quarter. 35, Hollenbach has his man. 
Darius Hayward Bay, who's been very quiet here in the second half. Short. Steps out, appears to be just short of the first down. Hollenbach goes, what do you mean it's not a first down? Dwayne Coleman there to nudge him out short of the sticks. Darius Hayward Bay. Little hairpin route, makes the catch. Does he get across the yellow line? I think he's right on it. Coleman coming up with a good stop. The senior cornerback. Hayward Bay had a good first half for the Terrapins. As he had three catches for 14 yards. That was his first catch of the second half. And they don't have it. A favorable Clemson spot. Maryland has to go for it here with a minute 16 left to go. And only one timeout. Got a quarterback who's six foot four, 214. Maybe the quarterback sneak. Hollenbach does have the ability. Yeah. Haven't done real well taking the ball off the line of scrimmage and running inside. Keon Lattimore, number 21, is the tailback. Two tight ends, fourth and inches for Maryland. I would go with the quarterback sneak. They do, and Hollenbach gets it easily as he is able to go around the tackle and pick up four yards. We welcome the ABC audience to Clemson. Maryland on fourth and inches. Their quarterback, Sam Hollenbach. That's good block by Joey Hanos, the tight end. First and 10 from the 40 of Clemson. Completes it for the first down to Isaiah Williams. Hollenbach, the senior, cool as can be. We're inside a minute. 13-yard gain. Sam Hollenbach uh, Bach has had a very good football game. He has found his receivers. Not much of a running game to complement the passing game. The offensive line done a good job, too. Clemson sideline wanted a timeout, and they get it. So now Clemson is out of timeouts. They are now Maryland within Dan Ennis's field goal range. Keon Lattimore, nine carries, 35 yards. The leading rusher is in the backfield. They give it to him, and he goes right up the middle, hangs onto the football, and is stopped down at the 24-yard line, excuse me, by Nick Watkins. Picks up three yards as the clock continues to roll. No timeouts. Hollenbach got to be very careful with this pass. Throws it over the middle to Hanos, his big tight end. And now Maryland has to. They will spike the ball. Hollenbach calling to spike the ball as the clock stops at 22 seconds as they move the chains on first down. 12 yard gain to Hanos. Hollenbach gets right in the middle, and now he wants to, to uh, spike the football. He's a calm, cool quarterback. Wanted to get the ball right in the middle of the hash marks, and you're right, that is a senior play, isn't it? That is big time right there. Under pressure to have the uh, skill and the uh, just a calm, cool customer. Sam Hollenbach, second year as a starter here at Maryland. And Dan Ennis from 31 yards out. That's where he hit his other field goal today for the win. And Ennis wins it for the Terrapins. A terrific final drive for Maryland as Sam Hollenbach Drives them down, and they get the three they need. Maryland put itself in the Atlantic Division driver's seat with the win. 
But on the last Saturday of the regular season, the Terps lost to Wake Forest for the division title. Maryland would go on to the Champ Sports Bowl, where the Terrapins would beat Purdue. Clemson would lose to Kentucky in the Music City Bowl. I'm Jeff Fischel. Thanks for watching the ACC Digital Network. Remember, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Jeff Fischel.